Hi Fresno Unified students, welcome to week two. Like last week, I will be reviewing clef, key signature, and time signature. I will also be reviewing notes and rhythms. I'm going to use the same procedure as last week. I do, we do, you do. That means I'm going to demonstrate something. I'm going to give you a chance to practice. Then we're going to do it together. And then you're going to do it on your own. And we're going to do that for each exercise. Hi, advanced flute players. We're going to start week two's lessons with exercise one. First up, this is a treble clef. Everybody say treble clef. Treble clef is the clef flutes play in. What clef do flutes play in? The treble clef. Now we're going to move on to key signature. You have two flats in your key signature. When there's two flats, it tells you all B's and E's are flat. Which notes are flat? All B's and E's are flat. One more time, which notes are flat? All B's and E's are flat. Now we're going to move on to the time signature. We're in 4-4 four, four time. The top four tells us there are four beats in a measure. What does the top four tell us? There are four beats in a measure. One more time, what does the top four tell us? There are four beats in a measure. The bottom four tells us the quarter note gets one beat. What does the bottom four tell us? The quarter note gets one beat. One more time, what does the bottom four tell us? The quarter note gets one beat. Good. Now I'm going to teach you a few concepts before we go into the rhythms. Our first concept is dynamics. Everybody say dynamics. One more time, say dynamics. Dynamics tell you how loud or soft to play. What do dynamics tell you? How loud or soft to play. One more time, what do dynamics tell you? How loud or soft to play. The dynamic in exercise one is MP. That stands for mezzo piano. Everybody say mezzo piano. Mezzo piano means to play medium soft. Ladies and gentlemen, what does mezzo piano mean to do? Play medium soft. One more time, what does mezzo piano mean to do? Play medium soft. Now we're going to go over eighth notes. These are eighth notes. So are these. So are these. They have a beam underneath here. Eighth notes are half a beat. Ladies and gentlemen, how many beats are eighth notes? Half a beat. Good. One more time. How many beats are eighth notes? Half a beat. Please listen and repeat after me. T, 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 T. Your turn. Okay, one more time. I'm going to go now. T, 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 T. Your turn. Now we're gonna do it with numbers. Please listen. One and two and three and four and your turn. My turn. One and two and three and four and your turn. You just clapped and counted eight eighth notes. Now please listen. T, T, ta, ta. Now try that. Okay, now we're gonna add numbers. Please listen. One and two, three. Now we're gonna try that together when I count to four. One, two, three, four. One and two, three. Again, two together, go. One and two, three. What you just clapped and counted was this. Two eighth notes, the first eighth notes on beat one, the second eighth notes on the end of one, and then the quarter notes on beat two, and this quarter notes on beat three. So you clapped and counted one and two, three. Now, ladies and gentlemen, please listen. One, two, four and. Let's try it together. One, two, three, four. One, two. Four and again, two, three, four. One, two, four and. So go down here and you just clapped and counted this measure. The half note was beats one and two. The quarter rest was on beat three. And then the eighth note, the first eighth note was on beat four. And the second one was on the end of four. So you just clapped and counted this. One, two, rest, four and. The last thing we're gonna go over is dotted half notes. Everybody say dotted half notes. One more time, say dotted half notes. Dotted half notes, ladies and gentlemen, are three beats. How many beats are dotted half notes? Three beats. One more time. How many beats are dotted half notes? Three beats. Please listen. One, two, three. Let's do that together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So whenever you see a dotted half note, you hold it for three beats. How many beats are they? Three beats. Now we're going to go over the rhythm. So exercise one, we have four quarter notes, two eighth notes, a quarter note, and a quarter note. Then we have a rest. Then we have two eighth notes, three quarter notes, and a half note. Then we have a half rest, which is two silent beats. How many beats are half notes? Two silent beats. Then we go to the second line. We have four quarter notes, a dotted half note, which is three beats. How many beats is a dotted half note? Three beats. Then a quarter note, a half note, a quarter rest, two eighth notes, and a whole note. Whole notes are four beats. How many beats are whole notes? Four beats. I'm now going to clap and count exercise one at a mezzo piano. Please listen. One, two, three, four. One and two, three. 
One and two, three, four, one, two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, four, and one, two, three, four. Please practice that on your own. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's try it together. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two, three. One and two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Four and one, two, three, four. Please try that on your own. All right, we are now ready to go over the notes. First, we have a B flat, an A, a B flat, and a B flat. We know these are all B flats because the key signature tells us all Bs and Es are flat. So this is B flat, A, B flat, B flat. Then we go to the next measure. We have eighth note C, an eighth note B flat, a quarter note G, and a quarter note G. Then we have a quarter rest. Then we have an eighth note E flat, an eighth note D, a quarter note C, a quarter note D, a quarter note E flat, and a half note F. Then we have a half rest. Then we move down to the second line. We have a quarter note D, a quarter note B flat, a quarter note A, a quarter note B flat, and a dotted half note C. Then we have a quarter note E flat, a half note C, a quarter rest, an eighth note D, an eighth note C, and a whole note B flat. Now I'm going to say the notes within the rhythm of the song for exercise one. Please listen, and I'm going to say it at a mezzo piano. B flat, A, B flat, B flat, C, B flat, G, G, E flat, D, C, D, E flat, F, D, B flat, A, B flat, C, E flat, C, D, C, B flat. Please practice that on your own. Now let's try it together when I count to four. One, two, three, four. B flat, A, B flat, B flat, C, B flat, G, G. E flat, D, C, D, E flat, F. D, B flat, A, B flat, C, E flat, C, D, C, B flat. Please try it on your own. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we are ready to move on to exercise two. In exercise two, we have a treble clef. What clef is there? The treble clef. Now we go to our key signature. And our key signature, we have two flats. That means all Bs and Es are flat. Ladies and gentlemen, which notes are flat? All Bs and Es are flat. Now we go to our time signature. We're in four, four time. The top four tells us there are four beats in a measure. What does the top four tell us? There are four beats in a measure. The bottom four tells us the quarter note gets one beat. What does the bottom four tell us? The quarter note gets one beat. Now we're gonna go on to the rhythm. But first, let's talk about the dynamic. This is MF. That means mezzo forte. Everybody say mezzo forte. One more time, say mezzo forte. Mezzo forte means to play medium loud. What does mezzo forte mean to do? Play medium loud. One more time, what does mezzo forte mean to do? Play medium loud. Good. For our rhythms, we have four quarter notes here. Then we have a quarter rest. Then two eighth notes. Then a half note, two more eighth notes, a quarter note, a half note, and a dotted half note, which is three beats. How many beats is a dotted half note? Three beats. Then we have a quarter rest. So we move down to the second line. We have a quarter note, another quarter note, another quarter note, another quarter note, two more quarter notes, a half note, two eighth notes, a quarter note, then a quarter rest. Then we have a quarter note, a half note, and a half note. 
I am now going to clap and count the rhythm for exercise two at a mezzo forte, which is slightly louder than the mezzo piano. Please listen. One, two, three, four. Two and three, four. One and two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two, four. One, two, three, four. Please practice that on your own. All right, let's try it together now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two and three, four. One and two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two, four. One, two, three, four. Please try that on your own. Now we are ready for the note. First we have a quarter note B flat, a quarter note C, a quarter note C, a quarter note D, a quarter rest, an eighth note D, an eighth note E flat, a half note F. Then we have an eighth note F, an eighth note G, a quarter note B flat, a half note G, and a dotted half note F. Then we go to a quarter rest. Now we have four quarter notes, two quarter notes, and a half note, two eighth notes, a quarter note, and a quarter rest. Then a quarter note, a half note, and another half note. I am now going to say the notes for exercise two within the rhythm of the song. Please listen. B flat, C, C, D, D, E flat, F, F, G, B flat, G, F, D, B flat, A, B flat, B flat, C, C, D, E flat, F, A, B flat, B flat. Please practice that on your own. Let's try it together now. One, two, three, four. B flat, C, C, D, D, E flat, F, F, G, B flat, G, F, D, B flat, A, B flat, B flat, C, C, D, E flat, F, A, B flat, B flat. Please try that on your own. Now we are ready to move on to exercise three. In exercise three, what clef is this? Treble clef, good. You have two flats in your key signature. Which notes are flat? All Bs and Es are flat. We're in four, four time. What does the top four tell us? There are four beats in the measure. What does the bottom four tell us? The quarter note gets one beat. Now let's look at the rhythms for exercise three. We have four quarter notes, two eighth notes, a quarter note, and a half note. Then we have a quarter rest, two eighth notes, two quarter notes, two more quarter notes, and a half note. Then we go to the second line. We have a dotted half note, a quarter note, a half note, two quarter notes, a quarter rest, two eighth notes, a quarter note, a quarter note, and a whole note. We are at MF, which is mezzo forte. I am now going to clap and count this at a mezzo forte. Please listen. One, two, three, four, one and two, three, four. Two and three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Two and three, four, one, two, three, four. Please practice that on your own. Before we do this together, I just wanted to remind you that this is on YouTube and you can rewind. So if you want to go over something, if you miss something or you want to try it again, or you just want to make it more solid, you can always rewind. That's the great thing about YouTube. You can always rewind.
Let's try this together now when I count to four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two, three, four. Two and three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two and three, four. One, two, three, four. Please try that on your own. We are now ready for the notes. Over here we have a quarter note B flat, a quarter note A, a quarter note B flat, and a quarter note C. Then we go to an eighth note D, an eighth note E flat, a quarter note F, and a half note G. Then we have a quarter rest, an eighth note B flat, and an eighth note A, a quarter note G, a quarter note G, a quarter note F, a quarter note D, and a half note B flat. Then we move to the second line. A dotted half note B flat, a quarter note C, a half note D, a quarter note E flat, a quarter note G, a quarter rest, a uh, eighth note G, an eighth note A, a quarter note B flat, a quarter note C, and a whole note B flat. I am now going to say the notes within the rhythm of exercise three. Please listen. B flat, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G. B flat, A, G, G, F, D, B flat. B flat, C, D, E flat, G. G, A, B flat, C, B flat. Please practice that on your own. All right, let's try it together. One, two, three, four. B flat, A, B flat, C, D, E flat, F, G. B flat, A, G, G, F, D, B flat. B flat, C, D, E flat, G, G, A, B flat, C, B flat. Please try that on your own. Ladies and gentlemen, now you will hear what exercises one, two, and three sound like on the flute. This will help you with your practicing. Hi, advanced flutes. We are on week two, and we're gonna start with exercise one, but first, we have a new note we need to check out, and that note is high C above the staff. There are two ledger lines, one of them which is going through the dot on the note, and I'm gonna show you how to play it. If you know how to play third space C, you know how to play high C. So, pointer pinky. That's all you need, pointer pinky. Super easy, just blow fast air and it'll pop right up the octave. Here's exercise one. Here's exercise three. 